everybody. This is Coach Candia with another installment of a conversation with Coach Candia. How's everyone doing out there? Once again, we find ourselves in my basement and me just kind of giving you guys a little input to you coaches, to you parents, and to you student athletes out there. You know, um, it's a great thing. It's a great thing to be able to do my part in helping a lot of you out there. And before I even go on and talking about what it is I want to talk about today, I just want to say a couple of things. Really, it's mainly one thing. As I always say, all right, I don't profess to be a professional with all the answers. I don't. I really don't. And I don't want to be the guru of anything. I just want to simply use my experiences to help some of you out there. And I realize that what I have to say is not for everyone, but I do understand that there is a need and I'm saying all of that because sometimes people ask me what is my platform what am I getting at um, what what do I want from these little uh, conversations and basically I just want to help I want to give options I want to give advice and input to those people who are probably misled or just don't have the resources to get advice for their kids or coaches that probably want input that are new coaches or even old coaches that want a different way of viewing things. So my whole platform is just to provide a bridge, a bridge for coaches, for players, and for parents. That's simply it. And I've uh, noticed that you know a lot of the topics that I've been talking about are somewhat controversial, and I know that, and I know they're not popular. Um, by any means. Sometimes when I'm talking to the parents, the coaches are like, yay. Sometimes when I'm talking to the coaches, the parents are like, yay. And sometimes when I'm talking about the players, the parents and the coaches are like, yay. You know, so it's going to be uh, uh, a give and take with the topics that I talk about. And that's exactly what I want. I want all of us to be able to grow from hearing different things. You know, even if you can't use the things that I talk about or you can't relate to it, please pass these things on because I know there's a lot of people that need help out there. So let's just do our part. And this is basically me doing my part and helping people out there. So I give my advice and I love doing it. It's something that I had to grow into and I'm still growing into, but I love doing it. And I see the kind of impact that it makes. You know, so with that being said, what are we going to talk about today? What are we going to talk about today? And I need some topics, too. I have a lot of topics that I want to talk about, but I want more input, guys. Tell me what are some of the things that you think need to be talked about uh, dealing with coaches, dealing with parents and dealing with student athletes. Any topics. I'll give you my input, but then I want to share some of what you guys, um, your concerns with others as well. But here is the next thing I want to talk about. What I want to talk about, y'all ready for this? It's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, ruffle some feathers out there, but it needs to be talked about. This message is for you parents out there. Yes, you parents. I did, I think probably was my last taping when I talked about um, my, my youth and me playing sports and how my mom couldn't come to my sporting events you know her way of uh, of uh, just supporting my sports was uh, working hard so she could have money to uh, to be able to sign me up to register me for uh, register me f up for sports but she had to work a lot and when she wasn't working she was resting so she couldn't attend a lot of my my games or practices I had to find a way to get to practices um, but I, I'm glad that I had different people, different mentors that that took care of me, that that uh, that helped me, to that, that guided me, uh, because my my father had passed away when I was very very young, so it was just my mom. So, but her part was to make sure that I was signed up for something, and then I'm so glad that I had people in the community, family members that kind of encouraged me to stay on the right path. But what I want to talk about is stemming off of that. I want to talk to you parents about being present. Being present. Now, 
I know some of you are in sim similar situations to what I talked about, like with my mom. You know, some of you are single parents. Some of you maybe are, um, you know, you, you're, you're, you, you have a spouse and you guys are very busy. But one thing that we can't neglect, parents, is being present. Being present. If you have the ability to go to practices, if you have the ability and the means to go to games, then I suggest you try to make it to every single event that you can. Sometimes you may say, well, it's the same thing. Me just being there, they don't even notice me there. Trust me, your kids know when you're present. Your kids know when you're present. And guess what? Coaches know when you're present at practices and at games because your kids will act a certain way when you're there. All kids, all kids, whether they're Pop Warner level to, to high school level to college and even the pros, you know, as some of you know, I'm, I'm you know, I, I help out with a, a foundation and I, we have a pro athlete, Muhammad Wilkerson, and I'm very close to his mom. Shout out to Miss uh, Wilkerson. Uh, and I just see how involved she is and how she travels and how she just really encourages him at the pro level. And guess what? He appreciates it, you know, and I even think that he performs better knowing that she's at his games. And he's a grown man and he's a professional football player. So if that kind of impact occurs with him, what kind of impact do you think occurs when you are present? at practices, yes, practices, and even games for your student athlete. Please never underestimate your presence. Your support is not just you saying that um, I, I'm cheering for you or I'm your biggest fan. It's you actually being there. You actually being there. My wife and I had a conversation recently and we were like, you know what? I don't think, we can't think of many or hardly any events that our kids had that we both weren't there or one of us. We used to strategically plan our days, plan out our weeks so that we could be at every single thing, every single thing, whether it was a play that my that Keon was in or was a practice or if it was a track meet. And oh my goodness, some of those track meets from nine in the morning to almost nine at night we were parents we were there and they meant something and we know they meant something and it meant something to us when our kids had that expectation of us being present so where are you parents are you there are you making yourself busy so you don't have to be present are some of you guys just using practices as babysitting mechanisms are you just dropping them off so you could go do some other things or you could go hang out and you're saying, ah, they're okay. This means a lot to your kids. I'm telling you as a coach, and there's a lot of kids envious of other players who simply have their parents present and their parents are known for being present at practices and at games. Now, again, I'm not being insensitive to a lot of you who can't make it because of whatever circumstances, but let's do better at that. Coaches would appreciate it. The community will appreciate it. And most of all, your kids would appreciate it if you could be present at more of their things. And again, again, I always say this. I love sports. I love football. And I'm always talking about sports and the involvement of the community in sports. But when I say these type of things, I mean this for any event that our young people are in. Please do your job as parents and be present. Whether they're singing, whether they're dancing, whether they are uh, at an after school uh, academic uh, requirement, whatever. Be present, parents. Please be present. I'll tell you what, your presence would mean a difference in their performance. I guarantee it. And then, 10 years from now, you'll see them and they'll see you and you know what they'll say? Thank you. Thank you for being there. I've been there. I've seen 
what being present at different events can do for a family and also what it can do for a community. So be present. That's the word for the day. Thank you guys for listening. It's Coach Candia. I'm out. Have a good one. The champ is here!